Hi traders, just going to go into my uh, alerts over here. This was the last alert that I received. It's a buy alert, 15 minute time frame, the Kiwi dollar, US dollar pair. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to share with you. In fact, let's just have a look at the results of this. I have a, a particular trading plan that goes with this indicator with these alerts. And these are the results I'm getting. All right, you can't falsify this. This, this is the real deal. All right, I mean, out of the last 50, there's zero losers. Just keep going. It's all green across the board. This is a very profitable trading strategy. Now, if you want results like this, it's quite simple. Watch the video. I'm going to share with you the, the, uh, my, my trading plan, how it works. And uh, you can click the link below the video in the description. Join my free Discord channel for lots of uh, goodies. And then in there, you can gain access to my indicators and all my tutorials. This strategy is simply trading these dots. And how I started was create a list, go through and then click the first one, run through them and have a look at the last 20 signals. 15 minute chart and you could do it on a five minute. And if you want to get adventurous, go for a three minute. Set up the signals on charts that have a high win rate when you look back. Now the New Zealand dollar is one of them. Okay, I think it's a probably a either a 19 out of 20 or a 20 out of 20. So the strategy with this, it's really specific. What I do is when I receive this signal, I just come straight in because I've already looked at this chart and determined that you know it's a chart that I want to trade with this strategy. As soon as the signal comes, I come in and I trade the signal regardless. What we do is I've got my fib set up. So we grab the fib and we're going to go from a previous level down so we just pull a fib obvious level tp1 is going to be i'll show you my um, fib settings in a minute tp1 is going to be in the orange zone stop loss is going to be in the purple zone so let's just do that now tp1 is going to be in the orange zone done stop loss i'll just set that up on the 28 in the purple zone there it is okay so now you might think that the risk reward doesn't look so great it, it actually is if you use the strategy or if you run with the strategy. So the idea is the TP is going to be no less than, say, 50% of the distance between the entry to the stop loss, roughly around 50%. So let's just pull that out a bit. Okay, so just stay within the zone. I'm going to close two-thirds of my position at TP1, two-thirds. In, in trading view, you can do a partial a partial close. In MT4, I just simply open three. I buy three times here, okay? Three positions, three open trades. Closing two of them, or two thirds, at uh, T1 and stop losses down here. If T1's reached and it happens to turn around and hit your stop loss, you're gonna be in the money, okay? If it pulls back and takes your stop loss out and you lose all three, well, that, that's fine. I mean, what I do is I, I work out 0.5% of my account size per trade. It's very easy to do with this. You just go in here and you go create a new order. And you can work out your, your thing here. For those of you who are new, go up here. Okay, 0.5% max. And you must know your, your stop loss level. So you've got your stop loss level down here. It's 72186. So you're going to type in stop loss 72186. That's really what you need. All right, and then you're going to go 0.5, and then you can see the dollar value here of the trade risk, 0.5, okay? So that's, that's the trade across the board with any instrument. So we look to close two-thirds here, and I mean, it's just set and forget. It's very simple. There's no technical analysis. You're running off the alert. You're trading off the alert. Regardless, you set this up, and then you walk away from it. Just to have a look back to see, see how effective or profitable this particular instrument, this New Zealand US dollar, what we want to do is we want to pull a fib. I'm quite conservative. I mean, if, if this has had like a uh, th this run here, for example, I'm not going to pull the fib from way back down here. I'm going to look for, okay, if this is my signal here, the fib's going to go from there to there. And then I'm looking for my TP1 here. This signal, my fib's going to run from... You just got to look at obvious levels. Now, it's stalled here. Okay, that's, I'm good with that. You know, I'm just, you just got to kind of work it out. That's my fib level there. 
All right, now this trade did that work. We pull a fib, we come up. Now TP1, well there you go, look. TP1, we got a touch. Okay, closed, in profit. Take two thirds off and leave the rest in. So we could just very, very quickly run back. And see, the benefit of this is you get trades like this that make a ton of money, absolutely. And I mean, depending on your lot size, run it here okay so there's a level go up to your signal there's tp1 right here in the orange zone and there's your stop loss level look at that stop losses hasn't been compromised and we're still in that we take two-thirds out we leave the rest in and then we we make money so every one of these signals i reckon if i go back 20 we're going to find out look look at this this is where we make our money okay where we get these extended moves look at this one just brilliant very very nice you know what i'm not going to bother going back because i can tell you now it's probably going to be either a 20 out of 20 or at least a 19 out of 20 for sure so let's just come back here now, i've already been through this chart and i picked it you know for the for the um for the uh, signal next thing is uh oh yeah um somebody asked me about the um, indicator uh, is it repainting or non-repainting i will say that all of our other indicators have the option to either set them up as painting or non-repainting. So if we look at the trend channel, inputs, see how we've got this here, don't repaint? Okay, so we can either untick that or tick it. Now with this particular indicator here, here we go, we've got an alert on oil. Oil's actually a good chart. With, with the um, indicator that's giving us these signals, I've set it up specifically to be a repainting indicator. There's no option to take that off. I wanna see if the condition on the candle or the, the, the bar remains or otherwise okay so here's the thing with this it's going to flash on and off while we're on the bar as soon as we move to the next bar the signal will either be there or it won't be you can make a decision as to whether you want to go with it or let it go now here's the thing that's the repainting side of it the non-repainting side of it is right here when this fires that sticks it doesn't change so you get the option then to work out whether you want to run with it or not if you want to be more conservative wait for the second bar if the uh, the signal sticks and it hasn't moved to your profit then trade it simple as that have a look at my other video on bitcoin it's making a ton of money really good way to build your um, account all right with that this is pretty nice click on the link below the video and i'll see you in discord okay safe trading and have a great day